Hi, this is Ron Richie, Ron Valdeboa, and this is part two of my Ibex guide. I'm using the 300 carbon. I put a tent here to start. Location of my tent is X2571 and Y is minus 3350. Right, we've just started. Over to my right there is a mountain. You often get ibex around that area. This close to just starting. Also in this little basin on my left. So every time you spawn in, just be aware that they could be that close and you could scare them as soon as you spawn in. This route is mainly just through these mountains. It's like a path, pathway, and you just go straight through here. So I'm going to go through quite quickly, you don't have to run, you shouldn't really run, but I'm just doing the guide and just showing you a rough idea of where to look. So ideally when you're doing it yourself, crouch walk while you're looking around. Make sure you listen for rock falls, uh, sometimes you'll hear the horns clashing as well. I've seen Ibex fighting there on the left on that mountain, about halfway up quite a few times so always check there and on your right as you go up this area I haven't seen any signs yet of Ibex but that doesn't mean they're not here because they're quite awkward to see but I'm going to still keep scanning on the left and on the right as I come through here there's an ibex now. So I'm going to bring up my map. I'm going to mark it with a red dot, roughly where it is. So then, as I approach, I can see the red dot clearly, and I know roughly how far it's going to be. The place on the left I had quite a lot of ibex, same as I have here. So sometimes they're on their own, just one male or female, sometimes they're in groups so once you've got an identification of an ibex in your area it's best to really slow down and just look around really well if there is a group you don't want to scare everyone because the one you might be looking at or whatever might be small in comparison to what is there so just take your time through here we know he's on the right, but like I say, on the left there's a little pocket there, and often you get ibex there. We're carrying on. Let's collect the tracks as we go along, just in case we get some other tracks, so we know there's a group in the area. I know the male one is just over this ridge here so it's a bit awkward to approach from not being able to see him but as long as we're quite careful he shouldn't spook. So I'm just going to crouch walk up, get to a vantage point where I can see this, this ridge line, hopefully see him. Keep listening, even though we're concentrating on this one there could be more ibex to the left. Or there might even be a group here, so we'll see as we get to this ridge what is actually here. We're getting very close now, we're almost on top of the red dot. So I think he'll just be over the ridge here. He might even be on top, hopefully, that's not the case. I 
There's a rock fall again. He's very, very close. Can't see anything on the left. There's the mail. That's Dan. Go collect that one. Often when you shoot the Ibex, have a quick scan round in your area because that might spook all the rest. It's good for getting him on the run like this. We're in like a bowl as well, so if they run up the side of the mountain, they'll go so far and then sometimes they crouch and stay still or they'll slow down after a certain sprint and you can catch him and a good shot and you can get two or three of them sometimes if they're in a the group. So let's collect this mail. Hundred and seventy one. Not a monster. Take a trophy shot and then we'll move on through the valley. There we go. <whistles> Trophy shot done. Now time to move on. Here on the left is pretty good. All this area is pretty good for Ibex, so you never know where you're going to see him. Always try and use uh, vantage points. So try and get up a little bit higher so you can see what's in front of you and around you. Yes, yeah, so look, there is a Ribex here. There's one running now. I'll wait for it to slow down to get a clean shot. <laughs> Look pretty clean. Yeah, there we go. See what I was just saying? We didn't know that was there, but by checking key areas where you'll find them and being aware of that you will often get you an extra couple of kills in certain areas that goes for any map so always be aware that animals could be there even if you haven't seen them So we haven't been hunting long, seven or eight minutes and we've all already had two Ibex, so they're not overly hard to get, it's just where, mainly location and how you hunt them. Nice trophy shot, and then we'll continue on. This route isn't particularly long. 20 to 30 minutes even if you crouch and take your time and you should get probably four or five ibex each time you come down here so nice and simple and should help a lot of people out who are struggling to get ibex
Right, just over this ridge here, on the right there's quite a steep mountain. You often get ibex at the top of there. And then there's another large area on the left here. We have seen some nice herds of ibex. So again, it's how you approach the area. Just there, that's a real good area. Seen six or seven sometimes there. Just along that ridge line there, sometimes you get ibex. And then there's a very steep drop off just down here. So what I'm doing is I'm walking forward just to see if there's any ibex signs here first on the right. So obviously if you see any tracks then you know there's some in the area. So just have a look around me binos on the walls, on the ridge, down below. Just remember it's very steep here so if you slip down you'll probably die and you'll need uh, a medikit. There's a track in front of us here. So definitely ibex in the area. So what you should do is scan the wall on the right, the ridge, down below. There's another track, so it's probably a group in the area. On the left, there is another good area which goes all the way down the side, and that's probably where I'll end a hunt when I'm looking for these if I'm on the second route. So we'll come down this ledge here, being very careful and then look over the edge which is very steep because it is like a plateau uh, angled quite steeply but you often get ibex just hanging on it I've had some quite nice ones there again always look for a vantage point if you can so a little hill, ridge, a rock something to try and see over the area you're looking for so straight in front of us is where I'm talking about and to my left there it curves off and to the left there's like a, a meadow with rocks in get quite a few there that's where we're going to go after we've checked this area So we haven't seen any ibex here, but you do often see them here. Here's a vantage point I was talking about, there's a rock that overlooks all to the right and to the left. little bowl here in front of us you often get them around this area or on this rock face there's none there at the moment I can see so we're going to continue down to the left remember this is very steep so try not to slip or fall down Here's a track in front of us. There's an ibex just running. Now we'll just continue down here. It's gone out of draw, so I'm not too bothered. But this area is very good. Quite a lot of ibex in this area. If you notice again I'm taking the high side to look down the valley. There's one over there, so we're going to mark it again. Very vital you do that. Because sometimes the call will go away and you'll forget all about it, or the exact position.
keep walking forward until I get a sight of it. It'll probably be just on the mountain side, so shouldn't be too hard to find. There's another track as well, so there might be more than one round here, so always be aware of a group. Never shoot straight away because often you'll probably not see the biggest one in the area. Shooting the first one can often lead to spooking the biggest one. Just leveled up there. So on this meadow in front of us is where I'll probably end my little route. There's a nice ibex. That's the one we probably spooked a minute ago. Wait for it to steady. like a clean shot so go and collect it there's quite a steep ridge down here so it doesn't look as steep as some of the other areas because it's grass but just watch out or you'll end up sliding down it and dying There's another Ibex down there, it's stuck on a rock. I'll shoot it anyway, while we're on the way to that one. Little bonus. Yeah, because it's grass, you might think it's alright just to run down here. But as you can see, it isn't. Use a medikit and we'll collect the ibex and move on to the other male I've seen. This looked quite nice. So this is the last bit of the area uh, on this route, on part two. I have another guide for the other route I use, which is part one, so please check that video out as well. If you need any help on the Ibex. Hope you enjoyed these videos, hope they've helped you out. My name is Ron McTube. The game is the hunter. We're on Val de Boa, the brand new island. The animal is the ibex. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels.